my shorts. Um, you you've been involved in, I suppose, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. The t- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the the one project that you've done over your career that has expanded and evolved um, enormously in so many different ways, almost continuously over the last you know yes. couple of decades. There's been various different versions of it. What's it like for you to be involved? You have been involved in the uh, numerous uh, productions of it, uh, as far as the animated, uh, to the cartoons go. What's it like for you yeah. to be involved in something like this that has evolved in this way over time? And I'm just kind of well, looking at it from from the inside, you know, as it oh, kind of, of course. changes and uh, yeah, and you know, remember, my son is probably about your age and grew up as a turtle freak. Yeah. So as you can imagine, it was pretty cool to have your old man be Raphael and for my little boy to be a turtle freak. Um, But we're talking about a franchise in terms of turtles that at last relative count uh, has been responsible for not only, I don't know, billions of smiles, hundreds of millions of action figures and birthday parties and I'm not talking about 10 year old birthday parties. I'm talking about 35 and 40 year olds now who have birthday parties uh, surrounded, you know, uh, uh, germane to the turtles. Because as we discussed earlier, those characters are really powerful. And they're often having a 40 year old birthday party about turtles celebrating, celebrating it with their 12 and 14 year olds who love turtles too. Yeah. And, and it's a very unique circumstance to be able to do that with your kids. And the franchise is arguably as powerful as it is now, as powerful now as it was in 1987 mm. when we did the pilot. So, I mean, six billion in merchandise uh, to have had two rides in the turtle van as Raphael and Donatello in a, yeah. a later iteration on Nickelodeon. And then direct a version also at Nickelodeon uh, because I guess I'm, I'm the most uh, uh, sort of guy with turtle DNA in Hollywood. So Nickelodeon slash Paramount said, you want to direct this? Sure. Yeah. What a franchise. Mm. I, I'm i wearing long sleeve shirts in Burbank. What is it? 76 degrees Fahrenheit here. Um, because my arms are black and blue from pinching myself. <laughs> it's It's an amazing franchise and the number of artists who have been inspired just by turtles to try to pursue art as a as a livelihood um that is incalculable yeah. i know that there are artists at disney pixar um uh, amblin um name it nickelodeon which is paramount Warner Brothers, who have been, who were inspired from the get-go by Ninja Turtles. And uh, that's not a small thing. All of this conspires to ultimately just make people joyful and creative. And it, it really, as much as we love to make a living, and I've been rich and I've been poor, rich is way better. But the joy and the Jones to create has nothing to do with money. Um, and, and that's what really is the most powerful aspect of Turtles, I would yeah. submit. And I know that because I've Kevin Eastman, who's one of the creators of the franchise, and I are very dear friends. And he is dumbstruck when he shows me uh, fan art mm. that he sent. Oh, I'm sorry. That that he sent um, on um, uh, from people who have been inspired by his creation. And so that that's a big deal, a really big deal, and I'm proud to be part of it. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.